Welcome back, YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Today is a rainy, cold, yucky day here in Eastern Kentucky. Even though it's those seasons that change, it can be so beautiful. I'm making a pot of homemade chili. Um, my daughter is here visiting, and I wanted to make something that would be some comfort food, and that's one of the things that she asked me to ta uh, make or requested me to make. So I am gonna do that. So to get started, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna use and how we're gonna do it. I'm using one and a half pound of ground round, 80-20%. Let me put my apron on. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by now. My name is Vicki and everything that I do and made is made with love. So that's why I'm wearing my apron. The secret ingredient is always love. So I wanted to share this recipe with you all today. And don't forget, all of my recipes will be in the description box. So I hope you'll make this. It's really easy and comes, uh, comes together really quick. The first thing I'm gonna do is use a big stock pot. Then we're going to brown, I've got a pound and a half of ground round 80-20. Now you can use you can use a pound, just a minute. You can use a pound to two pounds. So I'm going right in the middle with a pound and a half. The first thing we're going to do is brown our beef. The other ingredients we're going to use is chili mix. I'm using two packets, a can of Diced tomatoes with chili, it says for chili. Seasoned tomato sauce, uh, seasoned diced tomatoes for mild chili. Some kidney beans, it says red beans in chili sauce. And some tomato juice. That is all the ingredients, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna brown our ground beef, okay? So let me see if I can move my camera over here so you all can watch me. And it comes together, like I said, really quick. And the way I serve mine usually is with sharp cheddar cheese sprinkled on it, a dollop of uh, sour cream. And we serve ours with scoop chips, or you can eat them with oyster crackers, or you can eat them with uh, regular saltines. You can do um, chili in a bag and open a bag of corn chips, like a little individual size and put your chili on it and put your cheese and, and uh, um, sour cream on it that way. That is a really good way to do it. It's called a walking, some people call it walking taco, walking chili in a bag. And they sell those at our games here where we live, our ball games and stuff, and they're really good at the baseball field. So anyway, I'm gonna try to move my camera so you all can see down in my pot, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, like I said, first thing we're gonna do is just ground, brown or ground beef. See, when you use that mix and chop, it gets your hamburger meat chopped up really fine. It don't have big chunks of meat in it. I don't like my chili with big chunks of meat in it. So you just wanna make sure your meat's brown really well. Thank you. 
And if your meat's not real lean, just drain the fat off of it if there's any on it. This one don't really have any fat on it, so I don't really need to drain it. I'm gonna go ahead and add one and a half packets of this chili seasoning mix because it's one per pound of meat. So it says on the back. Yeah, so I'm gonna add about half of this second package. And you can use any brand or you can use your own chili mix. I just find that that's easier. Smells amazing. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and put in our diced tomatoes with the chili seasoning in it as well. It adds the flavor each one of these steps that you put in. And then we're gonna put in a can of the chili beans in sauce, chili sauce. And I'm telling you, that's how easy it is to make and it's so amazingly good. Now, if you like it chunky, you don't have to add any tomato juice to it. I like mine more soupy, soup-like chili, and I add tomato juice to mine. You don't have to, though. And then you can taste it and see if you need to add more of the chili uh, seasoning. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add about half of this can of, or jug of tomato juice. And that is a 46 ounce jug. And I put about half or a little more than half, probably two thirds maybe. And I'll tell you, I've got a secret. If it starts getting low and you've got gas, just add you some more chili sauce and tomato juice to it and it'll make it go further. And this I meant is the chili seasoning, well, not a sauce. More of this chili seasoning. And the longer you let it saute, the better it is. I would saute it at least 30 minutes, an hour if you've got time. And like I said, I just serve mine in a bowl with shredded cheddar cheese, a little bit of sour cream. You could sprinkle some chives or green onions over it and um, eat it with scoops or like I said, oyster crackers or saltine crackers. It's all really good. So we're just gonna let this get hot and simmer for at least 30 minutes. So I'm gonna put the lid on it and I'll meet you back here in 30 minutes and we'll try it. All right, so it's been simmering. I'm gonna go ahead and make my husband a bow and I'm gonna let him taste it for you because I've already had dinner and I know it's good and he knows it's good, but this way, do you want a bowl bowl, Chad, or just a little bowl? Oh, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. 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 Do you want it in a soup bowl? Does it matter? It don't matter? Okay. I actually got a bowl with a ladle with spoons. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Okay. Do you want cheddar cheese in yours or anything? No. Yeah, he's not a good one to uh, try it for me because he don't like the sour cream or cheese or any of that. Just a minute, it. let me show him what it looks like. Need well, you need crackers in it, don't you? Oh, yeah. Okay, here's the bowl. If you can see it there. All right, come over here, Chad. Here's my, my handy dandy test. Okay. Taste tester. For our taste test, I just want to say, my wife's always pretty, but she looks really good in an apron. I don't know what it is about the apron, but she looks even better that way. Oh my lord! You better oh, blow it. It's really hot. Oh, it's 
really good. Is it? Is I'll it? Prop it up there too. Does it's it really good. More, does it need more seasoning in it? No, it's really good. I'm ready for my boat. All right, go ahead and eat. Thank you. Very good. All right, guys. So you heard it from my taste tester's mouth. And uh, thanks for the compliment, by the way. But with that being said, I hope you all make this. It's really easily, easy made, like I showed you all. It don't take no time. It honestly is better the next day, I think, because those flavors just meld together. So I hope you'll make it. Let me know if you do. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for watching, for all your support. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't done that yet. And God bless you, and you have a great day. See you soon. Bye.